Welcome back, everybody. It's me, Porter Rayleigh, here with you today. And in today's episode, we're starting on the house that we built last episode. And I did a few changes to it to make it look a little better. I didn't like the roof in the end, so I switched it up to spruce. Um, you might see a little sneak peek over to the left there. Ignore that for now, please. I also added this little um, entrance way addition, I guess because it looks so boxy. So I made a little bit extension here out for the entrance into the house. And I put a little pen back here because I had captured some llamas, stuck them in here and they despawned because I did not remember to name tag them. So whoops, whatever, it is fine. Um, I think that's pretty much all of the changes I made after I built this with you guys last episode. I still have this nice box at the back that I haven't done anything else to. And I think this edition was here, um, was here when I built it with you. So yeah, that is all that I did. That's all that I did off camera, you guys. All that I did off camera, I promise you. There is nothing else that I did besides a little bit of a trail going up to the castle. I did. Okay, I made a lot of uh, changes. I did a lot of stuff off camera. I made a trail that goes all the way up to the castle and I made it out of the bamboo logs, which now kind of makes it look like I'm walking on the yellow brick road, but that's kind of fun because maybe this could be like a fantastical area with all of our fantastical beasts and houses and stuff. And we can walk the yellow brick road to go up to the castle. And I'll bring you guys on up the pink staircase and the yellow bricks. And I still have a little bit of fine tuning finishing to do here, but I ran out of stone so I have to go do some mining off camera probably and get that all finished but otherwise it's done I made a couple of little peaceful areas on the side here just with some nice trees this one I have to watch because I do have um lava right behind some of these to light up the <laughs> underneath side and so a couple of times this tree specifically has burned and yeah that's no that one is actually a pain in the butt to fix too because I have to take away all of this in order for it to grow because it needs five spaces of nothing between it but it's fine um otherwise i think the other ones are pretty good along here i have oh i didn't finish that i don't have any on me i have to cover that i hope you know what i'm pretty sure i covered that already i bet you i need to put some water in there i bet you the fire got to it um, but yeah, and then we'll just carry on up. I made a little tree up here, fake looking lawn along the way, and up we go all the way to connect to the entrance to the castle. That was also a connection to get into the other side of this mountain where the other part of our like village or a different village, I guess it would be, uh, is also located. I made this to cover the stairs that go up to the castle. Looks a little prettier. And so as we come around the edge here, it connects to the stairway that goes down to the village, down that way up to the like castle village and then up these stairs to the actual castle. And so that is all done. I finished the lawn as well because the lawn was just, I need to eat. <laughs> the lawn was just, um, remember I think you guys uh, saw maybe last time a bunch of it was moss, uh, the moss stuff and everything. And I didn't like that. So I was switching it to concrete and wool and it did take me a while, but I did finish it. We'll just take an actual fly around here and take an overview look at it all. And I finished all the side walls. It's all done. <sighs> it's so good to get that off. When I turn around, you're not going to see lava anymore. You're going to see a finished product and this water is being weird. So I have to get rid of that, but that's okay. And then yeah, over here, it's all done. I got rid of our mess over here, my mess, of all the boxes and um, shulkers and everything to build all of this. And this is all tidied up. I do want to move this into the castle maybe somewhere, but I'm not sure where yet. So it's staying here for the time being. Um, the other thing that I did was I made our bedroom up top. I finished it. So we'll fly on through here. And I still have a bit of a shulker mess going on in here, but that's okay. That's actually something we're going to work on today. So it's going to stay for a minute. The way up right now is just a little hidden ladder in the trap doors here, which can be a pain if I accidentally click on the trap door because it breaks the ladder. So that's always fun. <laughs> it might be temporary. I might keep it this way. I don't know yet. But this is our finished bedroom and I love it. I think it's so cute and I love that I got the 
all the um, rich stuff in our floor that we get to stand on our riches. It's beautiful. I have a little working desk here, a computer set up. I got triple screens because, you know, we're rich. Our little mouse and our little cup of coffee over here and lamps. I made a little book nook over here. I might add some planters or something as well, but oh, I love the little uh, detail that you can make now with the new bookshelves. It's so pretty and just suspending from the ceiling because, you know, we're fashionable. And then a hammock swing over here because our bed is not enough. So we need a little hammock swing that I can't actually get up onto because it's above the ground. I think um, maybe I could. No, I don't know. <laughs> and then a little indoor planting area I made with the signs, the hanging signs from the new update and everything. And I think it just looks adorable, little fresh greenery in here. And I have this beautiful, I think it's, I think it turned out really well, chandelier up here, just of glass and some lighting. And yeah, I think it looks really nice. And then our bed, which is a quadruple, what is it? Octo octopolite bed? <laughs> there's four. No, there's five. That's right. It's five. What is that? Penta? No, Penta is five. What is ten? I don't even know. Deca? Deca. Our Deca bed is ready for us. So that is all that I've done off camera is a lot. And I was just on a roll and I was just in the mood for it. And I did not have my setup to record. So I just went with it and I will show you off camera or I will show you now on camera, which is what I'm doing. Yes. So let's have a snooze in a second in our brand new deca bed in our castle. I did make some backstage lighting here. I think that looks a little better. So yeah. Anyways, give us a second. We will sleep. All right, so now on to the boring part of our day. No, I'm kidding. It will be um, very exciting. Yes, it will be very exciting now. The next thing that we're going to do is I want to make a storage unit in our castle because that makes sense. Um, and I think I actually want it on this floor. I was thinking about which kind of area to put it in. I do like it in here because I've got, I've got a really good vantage point to fly in and fly out of that door. That's a huge door, whereas like... Uh, this one, this middle one, I have to go all the way around to this side to get in it, which is kind of a pain. It is a bigger room. I don't think it's as tall, though, either. And then if I go down to the next one, which is down here, I kind of wanted to save this for, like, the throne area. I thought it would make a lot more sense to have this as the main area where the throne would be and, yeah, where people would come to see the beauty and majesty of a castle so i want to save this for not being all cluttered with um with uh boxes and and storage there we go storage and stuff so yeah that's the plan i think i'm going to do that top one for this and we'll just fly on back up to it and this yeah i got lots of space up here to work with and i don't know if i even need to go that high i don't think i need to go that high so we'll just kind of stick with the levels that we need to use and then we have a lot of entrances into it even though at some point I will be blocking off that entrance at the back because I do have a tower plan for back there but it's just not something that I'm going to do right now and I kind of forgot about it when I was building all of this down here and I didn't save room so I don't know anyways that's not something that we're gonna worry about today at all we're gonna build in here and make a storage unit and I'm gonna go off of impulses um he, he made a storage unit, I think, in the season 10 of Hermit Crafter season 9, whatever Hermit Craft season they're on right now. And uh, somebody did a shortened version of it, or I should say like a more condensed version of it. And uh, the YouTube name is Voltrox. I think I said that wrong, right. <laughs> Voltrox made a little uh, a video about uh, building it um, so that you don't have to go through I think Impulse didn't, I'm not sure. Anyways, whatever. It's Impulse's design, Voltrux's video I'm going off of, and we're going to build that. So uh, I think I will just do a little bit. I'll just come back in and explain things as I go. So let's get started. All right. Whew, that was a lot of work to get all of this stuff organized, and I probably will need to get more, but I'll show you what I've gathered so far. I have got... Um, Okay, so this is the box of all the supplies that we're going to need, except for like some building blocks and stuff. This is all the redstone stuff that we're going to need, and it might not be enough uh, because it's going to be quite a big amount of storage, but I think I gathered hopefully enough. We'll see. At least to start us with, it's definitely enough. This is uh, some extra stuff. I still can smelt some more cobblestone to make the stone and all the equipment uh, that I was using. And this is our normal redstone box. So I did leave a lot of stuff in here. I tried not to pull too much from here. I tried to make all of it 
um, without using this box, minus, of course, the blocks of redstone, because I did need those, so that d dwindled quite a lot. This box used to be full of wood logs, and I had used so much of it for all of this that all I have left is this much wood, and that is it. <laughs> That's pretty sad. These are going to be our filler blocks for um, blocking our... Uh, I don't know, count or whatever you need to do to make sure that only certain things go in the chests when you're doing this. And then this is what we're going to build everything on the cyan terracotta, which I don't think is going to be enough, but I definitely can make more. I have it over in that area there. I just grabbed a little bit to bring over here because we're going to build it. We're going to build it here. And I think it's going to go this away and then this away. Actually, you know what? Probably just go in a big circle. I don't even know. Um, I feel like, because this is the entrance of the castle, like if you look at the castle, it goes this way. So it makes sense to kind of have this as the entrance into the storage unit, and then it kind of circles and loops around this way. So that's the plan. We're just going to make it massive. I don't even have a count in my head about how many I'm going to actually need for the amount of blocks in the game. I'm just going to make it to fill this room and try and make it so that um, when we're done, like I don't want it too close to the doors so I can put some maybe fancy things around so it doesn't like when you look in from the outside, you don't see storage unit. You see something pretty and then when you come in, you discover storage unit. Yes, that's the plan. So I'm going to go off the tutorial now and start building this. Chests all placed. Hoppers all in place behind every single chest. Redstone repeaters in place. Comparators are all in now. And all the redstone dust is in. And a final row of hoppers facing those comparators is now done. Output chest, hopper line, and input chest all placed. All right, so now we have to, which I already did, rename random items. I'm using the red terracotta and I renamed it to fill item. And we are going to go up to the hopper that is facing the um, comparator here. This hopper right here facing this, I think that's a comparator, whatever this one is. And we're going to put three, no, sorry, four in like that and leave one space empty because that's where our item is going to go for what we want in the chests below this. So I'm going to go around and do this to all of these hoppers that are in line with these comparators. Whew. Okay, that part is done and you can tell because all of my comparator lights are on. So we'll just quickly take a little peeks around here. I'm pretty sure I got them all. Let me just doop, doop, get my dirt out of the way and we'll check on this side. All on, good. And we'll check on this side. And it is all on. So perfect. We have done this correct so far. Okay, so now comes the like nitty gritty part, the last final step of making this work. And that is putting 41 items of whatever you want to go into the chests below these hoppers into this sorting unit as well. So if I want 41 blocks to go into this first hopper set, which why not? Because that makes a lot of sense. We use dirt a lot. We might as well start with dirt. We would put 41 dirt in there. So when I put dirt in here, um, it will filter into there. So let's do a little bit of a test. So we put dirt in this one. Let's put cobblestone in this one. We want 41. Oops, that was one too many. Doop. Nope, I know how to do this. There we go. 41 in there. And let's put uh, the stone in here. And we'll go 41 as well. Okay, and then let's put some stuff in the chest. Let's do... Um, We'll do all three of the things that we have for the sorting machine, plus an extra random thing that we haven't dealt with. And it should all sort, and the one that isn't um, sorted yet will go to the out, book, uh, out box in here. So we're gonna, oops, so we're gonna give it a minute to make its way around. Let's tidy up a little bit while we wait and make sure that that is working well. And so if it's working perfectly, which I expect it will, um, we will, I, I will just off camera fill the rest of this with items. I'll kind of figure out how the order is that I want it to go into to know which should go into what, um, chest and I mean if you guys have any good ideas or suggestions for the order for these chests you can always let me know as well 
I do have kind of hidden ones back here. This row I just kind of tucked in the corner, same with on this side. Just to get like one little bit of extra storage out of this unit, I have, I think it was 23 on this side, 23 on this side, and eight on this side. So that is a lot of storage. I should be able to get, I think, like pretty much every Minecraft block <laughs> into this unit. Um, and like all the random ones that maybe we don't use very often, I'll just have come into this outbox and I might just make it drain into its own little chest system. Uh, or maybe even make this one here, this final one, into randomness. We'll see. We'll see kind of like how much space I have to work with and what's left over. So let's see. We should have dirt going in here. Perfect. And cobble in there. And perfect. Smooth stone in there. And let's see. Do we have anything left in that box or is it all emptied out? Uh, perfect. It's empty. So let's see if the cyan ended up here. It might not have made his way here yet, but... We will give it a minute. Um, oh no, of course it won't end up there because I don't have fillers for all of these. I have fillers, for just, so cyan should be in this one. Or it should have filled into the into the hopper at the top, I bet you. Yeah, because I didn't even think about that. I don't. It would only work all the way down the line if I don't have things for these other ones. So I have one there, one there, one there. It should be in here. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so that's fine. I'm not going to worry about it not making its way all the way down the line. That, of course, will be able to be tested once everything is in all of the chests. Phew. So we're going to leave that there for today. I'm not going to do any more with this sorting system with you guys in today's episode. I think that was a pretty intense start to the episode and it might even be long already I don't know but I thought we could kind of end the episode by going and getting some animals and uh maybe first things first we will check out the llamas so let me see what um I oh my goodness if I can touch the right button that would be amazing there we go I have enough food I should get some more rockets my wings are pretty good I think I'll leave the wings as is so we'll just fill up on rockets here and I think I went that way and that's where we found camels in the long ago episode before summertime which was really just two episodes ago which feels like eons ago because um <laughs> I had such a big break in between but that's okay <clears throat> I'm gonna bring leads with us too we should grab some leads uh, you know what maybe I'll bring two stacks just in case um we'll break that we will grab some leads and I know I have some somewhere Ah, there we go. Lee's perfect. And I also want to make sure I have something to make. I should make a boat. Let's see. All right. I have a boat. I have leads. I have my carrots. I have my rockets. I can't remember what camels eat. I feel, uh, you know what? I don't think I need to worry. I have my leads. I can grab the camel. I can bring him back to my boat and we can boat back here and hopefully, um, <laughs> It's mostly water. Let's go find out. And it's not going to stay in the castle. It's going to go stay in the house that we built over here. We're going to make this whole area friendly for animals is the plan. So let's just fly off in the easterly directions. I'm pretty sure that's where I saw it. Oh, look at that. Fully intact ship. I might have been here already. Let's go find out though. That's pretty cool. trim you guys yes we found armor trim coast armor trim yes hooray let's get this too <laughs> worth coming here suspicious stew i'm always curious but i don't need it first the binding pants very nice oh nice richardies so i didn't find camels but I found mushrooms. And this is the second time I've come across Mushroom Island, and I think I want to take some mushroom cows with me. Uh, which might be, will be, a very annoying trip, but we're gonna try this, and we're gonna see how annoying they are to bring back with us. All right, we found a camel, hooray! I got the mushrooms back onto our normal um, area and I came back looking for a camel and here is the majestic beast. I need two of them. This is like a very weird um, uh, village. Like it spawned really weird but that's okay. I think we can pretty much get back with this guy all on water so that's really good. Oh um, let's get this out of the way. 
I just want to see if there's another one around here, though, because that would be pretty amazing. If we could get two right away. All right, we actually, let's just focus on this guy anyways, because I don't know how easy it is to lead a camel through the water. Because this guy's really slow, even... Oh my goodness, even on a lead, he's really slow. I had to pull the mushroom guys behind my boat, and that took a long time, so we had to keep coming into the land, and uh, the leads kept breaking and stuff, and this guy would be even more of a pain in the butt. I'm pretty sure the whole way that I need to take him is water. Because I boated the whole way here, so we should be good. Boat back. Look for another camel on the way. You're gonna get in the boat, buddy. Please tell me you can get in the boat. Please tell me you can get in the boat. Can they get in the boat? I don't know. Doesn't look like it. It does not look like it. Uh, okay, let's see if we can... Oops. No, I need you on the lead. And I need to get in the boat. And you need to follow me, please. See if this will work. Our new part of the build here where I'm storing our animals. I've already got the mushrooms over in the pen. I'm gonna add this camel to the same spot and I'm gonna go back out and we're gonna find another camel. There are the mushrooms. Perfect. Camel come in and join them. There we go. Perfect. Different village, but same area as the other village. I just couldn't find the same spot, but that maybe is a good thing because, um, I don't know if it's, or come on, if they spawn again in the same village or not. So this is a different camel in a different village, and let's bring him over to the water and get back home again. I found a little bit of suspicious gravel in the ocean, but not a warm ocean spot, so I didn't find anything terribly good. I did get one of the pottery shirts though but that's it so we are going to carry on with this guy and bring him home and then we got a set there we go perfect let's head back again made it. Whew. It's been a fun journey, but at least it is all <laughs> by boat. And we will bring this guy up here now and add him to the family. And then I think we can ride them if we like saddle them or something. So we're gonna have to figure that out, but at least we got them. And he needs to follow me. Come on, buddy. Don't lay down, please. Just follow me. Let's go meet your lovely family over here. Add a guy. And then we're going to go and try and find a sniffer egg. I really, really, really want to try and get that going. Today, we might as well. We've been exploring. Come on. Don't do that. Silly camel. There we go. Been exploring all day today. We might as well. Don't do that. Go on in. Are you going to hurt yourself? Get in there. Properly. Properly. I need to make that bigger. <laughs> okay. Let's make sure we've got everything we need. Rest up. And then we'll go try and find a sniffer egg. All right, I'm pretty sure the sniffer eggs can only be found in warm oceans. 
I better be right on that. So we're gonna go right back to where we just came from, because that is a nice big warm ocean that has yet to be explored, besides what I've already explored trying to find the camels. Um, so I'm hoping that there's going to be some structures in there that we will be able to find a sniffer egg. And I forgot my boat. Yes, I did. Oh, whatever. I can chop a tree down. It's not a big deal. Okay, looks like I found something right here. Is this still warm ocean? It is. All right, let's take a peek at this guy. Nice sword ready. And let's go into the proper mode. And any Oh hey, baby, no. Uh, oops. Oh my goodness. Chest open. No. Now open? Why are you not open? There we go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Nothing interesting. Where's the other guy? There we are. Is there anything else? Okay, suspicious sand. Aha. <gasps> I got it already, you guys. It was the first suspicious sand. Yes, let's go. Yes. Oh my goodness. Okay, that was amazing. I need one more. This is not the same thing. That would be so cool if it was two. Okay, that's okay. We need to get air. And then we'll come down and for some more. No, 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 no. Actually, I could have just stood on that, I guess. Whatever. I'm already up. Okay. <coughs> ah, more suspicious sand. Huh. Oh, I might as well take the richness. Okay, well, I cannot for the life of me find another structure in that warm ocean besides what I already found. So I'm going to give up. We're going to go back. We're going to put our one sniffer egg down. At least we got one. I am going to fly back because this is taking for blink and ever. So let's break our boat, bring it with us. Let's go on top of this boat. Ah, I've definitely been here. Okay, and I want to go. Oops, let's do the rock. It's not the... Here, it's okay. We're going to go back home and we're going to plant our egg. <laughs> I don't know if things can accidentally trample sniffer eggs or any eggs, I guess. So we're going to put a fence around him or her, whatever. We'll put a little fence around them and we want, if we have any, uh, moss. It doesn't really matter. It'll grow either way. But I'm just going to look. No easy moss. Okay, that's fine. Let's just go put him down and be done for today. We're going to bring him back here on this side so that there's no risk of trampling. And we're just going to go like this. And there. Okay. And sniffer egg. Oh, I did have two. Oh my goodness. When did I get the second one? Like, I really don't even remember getting two, you guys. What the heck? Okay, never mind. I did all that for nothing. Two eggs. Two super eggs. Did two come out? Is it... I don't know. Anyways, thanks so much for joining me, you guys. Oh my goodness, I did not need to do all that second looking. I don't even know what happened there. I'm going to have to look at the footage and I will try to figure it out. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And um, I will work on that storage system in between episodes and hopefully get it up and running. And I will show you the progress on that next time. So I will see you guys later. Bye.